I just had to say it out loud because people, they got to have their fetishes. Yeah. Uh, okay. So what I was thinking is film, it's always had this issue where within it is more potential than people are getting out of it. And I'm sick of people not understanding the way ions come into a camera, you know, in association with digital cameras and how the two share similarities with individual frames of film. See, here's the thing. Film, because it is, even though it's in individual windowed frames, the energy, especially if you have a magnetic strip of audio, that's bleeding ions across. It's, it's sharing energy already, you know, some of those ions with the sound, even though it's supposedly contained. All ions bleed every direction. So it's got a little bit of that sound data and the light data and back and forth stabilizing each other already. Uh, on, with, that's why they, you know, prefer sound on the uh, actual film reel when they started inventing that. My point is this: like an interleaved frame in um, a movie, the perception is the same as the ion flow. I, I know, I know, it's it's hard to imagine because you're so fucking stupid, but ions are flowing every time the film reel moves and moves up to the speed reaching a speed of like static electricity basically because there's metals in it and things that it's actually like flowing because the way that the universe works is everything is a principle of flow so there's different types of flow for different situations and each is as valid as another when it comes to magnetism and even electricity most of the time to ion flow at least, which is smaller movements. So in the era of modern scanning and things, why do all the scans just look, why are you scanning the dermal layer of the film? There's, you know, different emulsions. Surely uh, lasers with how refined they are in their technology could penetrate different layers and create a better scan using telemetry data you know what i mean you could even hit it with sound waves the individual crystals to get a resonance off of them that then is collected as magnetic data you know what i mean and a clearer like sort of 3d sound image because those are tiny bumps hills and valleys what i'm trying to say is and then that sound wave data from collecting it bounced off the film reel while it's moving at high speed that creates the flow data as if you're collecting interleaved frames. And then you have an amazing, like, additional energy pattern to mix into uh, what you've collected from just the laser scan. I mean, I just want to keep going here because I'm, I'm very annoyed. What if, for example, you took a film reel and you know how you read a tape? Well... What if you read the whole thing, like when you put a tape that's a data tape in any old video game system, anything, you know how it, it just comes out as white noise? Well, what if you read it as data? You know? Magnetically, like a tape, because it's ionized metal already. You run it through these different processes... And you come up with a ultimate image that's superior because it has magnetic data, ionic data, interleaved frame data, you know, like how that's the effect of moving pictures because there's a little black piece in between there where you're like missing a frame. So it's supposed it, it actually is less than the frame rate. It's just organically analog, like flashing to tiny panels of dark in between, like interlacing sort of in your brain already as it moves. That's why film, I mean, I hate 24 frames a second on film, much prefer even 30, because the frequency is better for my eyes and my body, and I, I just hate watching 24, it gives me like a headache. 